Hi, this is Ken Nelson with the next video in our orientation series. This video is about the grip or the way we hold the gun. Now, like with our other videos, we have goals for the grip. And those are, we want the gun to have minimal flip. And what is flip? It's called muzzle flip. And when the bullet goes that way, a lot of energy goes that way, and the energy comes and moves the slide, and that's what the gun's gonna to use to get rid of the, the cartridge that you just shot and bring another one in. And it's gonna go, and it's gonna come out here. It's gonna hit metal on metal right about there. Your hand's below, and it's gonna pull the gun back and up. And that's called muzzle flip. The distance that that flips is called travel. And one of the goals of the grip is to minimize muzzle flip travel. The next purpose or goal of the grip is to return the gun automatically from travel back to level, back to the point where you had your sights aligned. Right? So we're, we're going to build a spring with our hands and wrist and arm that causes that, that will let that thing go up, hopefully a minimal amount, and but that no matter what it does, it comes back automatically. So that's the second goal. And the third goal is that I've got aiming done simply by grabbing the, uh, the gun. Now, I'm using aiming, but what I really mean is sight alignment. So if we have sight alignment with, uh, from your perspective, these are the rear sights, so you've got sight alignment. That means equal height, equal light. That's sight alignment. That's what I've got done by standing, as we talked about in the stance, and by holding the gun the way I aim it when I grab it. So right now, when I grab this gun, even out of my back pocket, I'm holding it the way that would yield sight alignment when it comes up here. Okay, I hold it the way I aim it. When I add this hand, I add it the way I aim it. Super important, that's part of our early doctrine. The earliest I can aim left and right is right now standing. The earliest I can handle the up down and make sure that the left right's correct is right now the minute I grab it. It's right, it always comes up right. If it ever doesn't, that's a crisis. I want to have my alignment done early. Okay, so those are the goals. Now the grip. I've tried to distill the steps of building grip down to three things. It's obviously more complex than that. And, you know, as you go through your shooting life, you'll adjust your grip and, and try this and try that. It's infinitely complex. But I think these three steps from an orientation perspective are going to get you in the ballpark. Now, the first goal that I have, the first step is thumbs high. So often I see people grab a gun like this with this thumb in the way, because I'm gonna use two hands, and I wanna get this part of my other hand as high as I can on the gun, for a variety of reasons I'll leave to later videos. So what I like to tell people to do, and to get them in the ballpark of this, is to simply make an L. You should be seeing an L right now, and I'm seeing a backwards L. Okay, then, this is called the tang of the video, or I'm sorry, of the gun the tang. Old timers might call it the beaver tail. Um, and what I'm going to do is take my L and then put it up like that. Up. Then I'm going to wrap my hand and look what didn't change. My finger went to the side. These hands are pulling pretty hard, especially from the bottom fingers. What didn't change was my thumb still high. Next thing I'm going to do is put the base of my thumb, the base joint, up as high as I can under here, and then wrap and squeeze. That's 90% of the grip you're going to end up with when you're really good. And it's significantly better than the grip you probably have now. All right? Now, that's the thumbs high portion. Again, make an L, up, wrap, keep the thumb high, next hand in, and finger on the side. And now the next thing is we want to build that spring that we talked about. It's going to return, it's going to minimize the travel or the flip and return it to level. The spring is built 
in two ways. It's built by pulling, pushing up into the tang like this and pulling down. So I'm pushing up and I'm pulling down with these bottom fingers. And it's built simply by stiffening our wrist. If you wanna know how to get your wrist stiff, I already showed you in the other video, you can do the wall drill. You're not gonna do that with a floppy wrist. You're gonna stiffen it. Another way to do it is to shake hands. If you have a floppy wrist when you shake hands, it's a weird handshake. Right, so shake hands with the gun. So we're gonna do this again by the steps. Make the L, up, wrap. Put the other thumb as high as you can up and wrap. Now I'm gonna stiffen my wrist. I'm shaking hands. Hello, Mr. Gun, with the right hand. Hello, Mr. Gun, with the left. Now I have the basis of a spring that's gonna minimize travel and return the gun to level, to alignment. Now the next thing I want you to think about is that I'm squeezing relatively hard right now. I want you to hold that squeeze. The biggest reason people miss is because their grip changes when they shoot, when they pull the trigger or, or when they know the recoil's coming. Whatever reason, people wanna do this. I see a lot of this. I see bang and then this, bang and then this. Keep the squeeze. So again, the steps are, make the L, thumb high, put it in, pushing up on the tang, wrap, pull down with these fingers, my thumb is still high, this thumb's going to come in, same thing, I get this base as high as I can, and I, and I push in together, and I squeeze, and then I shake hands with both hands, right hand, left hand, and then I'm going to keep that squeeze, and I'm going to shoot, pop, 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 and the gun's going to be very well behaved, which is my goal with the grip. It's going to minimize the flip, return that flip to level, and uh, we're going to do it in a way that we hold it the way we aim it. So what do I need by, mean by holding the way I aim it? That's the, the next part. Basically, what we're going to do is aim. Hmm. I'm going to remember this angle. You know, because I could, I could stiffen my wrist this way. That doesn't work. I could stiffen it this way. I'm going to aim at something remember this and then I'm going to bring it back to here keeping it perfectly level the same I'm not going to do this hmm I'm not going to do this I'm not going to just do this what I'm going to do is bring it back and keep it the same because that's the way I hold it the way I grab the gun is the way I aim all right so of course we've got homework we've got homework what we're going to do is something called an on down up drill on down up to do this you're going to need a post-it note on the wall a light switch something small but a region not a point that you're going to aim at in this case i'm going to use a light switch opposite the wall i'm going to break it down i always just start every rep of everything we do in our orientation drills by breaking them down and rebuilding them I'm gonna come in and build my stance. I might even do notch point of aim. Yep, perfect, all right. Um, then I'm going to build my grip. Thumb high, thumb high, wrap, stiffen wrist, everything looks good. I'm gonna get on target, I'm gonna remember the way I'm aiming, the way I'm holding it, the wrist angles and pressures and I'm gonna bring it back to what we call hand clap position, and then I'm gonna come up. Did it arrive at the same spot? That's one good rep. If it didn't arrive at the same spot, that's a bad rep. If you had to do something to get it to move to the right spots, so let's say that I did this, right? And I had to adjust it on my way up, bad rep. What we want is where that's the way I am, and I'm on the target, I'm down, and I'm up and I change nothing. No grip pressure change, no grip angle change. That's called the on, down, up drill. 10 times, 10 reps twice is one set. Do that twice a day. This is the third most important move in shooting. It's so important because everything we do basically manipulation wise, goes through this process. If I reload, I'm back, I'm up. 
If I pick it up off a table, I'm to here, I'm up. If I'm coming from my back pocket holster, I'm here, I'm up. If you get this move right, you fix so many other problems. It's the way to the fastest draw that you can do where you always get a hit, right? So do the on, down, up drill. 10 sets of, or two sets of 10 twice a day. For extra credit, if I'm on number eight, correct in a row and I get number nine wrong, I go back to one, right? I like to have consequences when I train. All right, now the next part of your homework is called the hold the pressure. And this is a timed drill. We're gonna do 60 seconds of holding the pressure. Right, 60 seconds. What I'm gonna, you don't have to hold the hands up. You don't have to do that. You can, I do. But I'll also do this when I'm sitting down watching a TV or in a meeting. You don't need a gun. What you do is you set your grip pressures, you set your grip angles, and you hold it. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six. You can set your phone timer to 65 seconds. That gives you five seconds to build it, and then it'll let you know when your 60 seconds are up. Now, this is doing two things. Two, two things. One is it's teaching you that the way you hold a gun is by keeping the pressure. But the second is that by doing that, it's letting your brain and your nervous system know that this is important to you and it needs to build pathways. It's gonna make your grip stronger even without working out because it's gonna recruit all the muscles and all the nerves to this obviously important task since you're doing it so often. It's the, the analogy would be that you have an eight cylinder engine in, this, in, your, in your hand car, um, but until you did this, you're only using two of them. So it's gonna increase your grip pressure simply by recruiting all the muscles. Um, and it's, uh, it's one of these things where the leading cause of missing is changing the grip pressure when you pull the trigger. So it'll teach you to hold it. Um, 60 seconds, five times. How much rest you need between each? I like to rest, you know, just from a physiological perspective, I rest until my hands are not tired at all anymore. We're not trying to do this to failure. That's actually a recipe for, for not building the strength and the, and the muscle memory you want. So do a set of 60 seconds, hold it the entire time. If you have trouble, make that your new goal. If you can only get to 45, that's fine. Anything is better than nothing. Um, and then rest or do some other drill, some of the other homework, until your hands are, are perfectly comfortable and ready to go another 60 seconds. All right, so that's the, the, the grip. Hey, this is an overview, an orientation. I'm trying to get you guys to build in key muscle memories that are gonna serve you for a lifetime. I'm not trying to give you the perfect grip or the grip that you're gonna end up with with your Glock versus the grip you're gonna end up with your 1911. What I'm trying to do is give you the foundations that will build an effective grip on anything you pick up throughout your shooting life. Remember, do your homework. It's only you that benefits and only you that, that doesn't benefit if you don't do it. I'm not gonna judge you. I know you got it in you because you're watching this video and you came to class. So I know you want this. So do your homework and I'll see you on the range.